Howdy all Pro Exterior Services here again. Haven't done a video in a while. Had a lot of personal stuff going on. and Anyway, we're here at one of our annuals. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up. We've got some stuff to move real quick. They moved some of the stuff, so Tony's already on hose. First thing we do when we get to a job, and I always unreal my water hose. <laughs> always unreal it all to maximize flow. There you go. So we maximize the flow. Good morning. We got cut off. The homeowner came out, but you can see we got some stuff on the roof. We got these trees here. It's not too bad. Brand new windows last week, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the flat work, which is something we do. It's just we do it every year. Same thing. That's that residual business, building a book of business. Tony's on property protection. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a soft wash hose. Probably gonna wash the house first to help wet the plants around it and then hit spike it up a little bit. I ain't going six percent on that roof. I don't need to. It's not that bad. And then uh roll with it. Alright, we'll catch up in a minute. Peace. Guys, got the settings. Go five, water open, leak on four. We got settings for the day. That means for right now. I don't know if I'm going to spike it up a little bit to that roof, maybe to five or something, but not much. All right, let me get in position. I'll get some footage in a minute. All right, peace. All right, guys, I just turned my soap on. I already pre wet these plants, and it poured down yesterday, last night, so we're golden. Already wet my AC a little bit. Do it again real quick. We're gonna hit this side first. So we should be getting soap here in a minute. This side ain't too bad as you can tell. Again, it's about 45 minutes for the soap. And we got soap, folks. We got soap. This again, a nice little coat. That's all you need to do. Good Eve, good. I remember we did this house the first time with the four four gallon a minute. Uh, hit those brand new windows too. The four gallon a minute machine. <laughs> we got it done though. It wasn't bad. I mean, it took us a little longer than normal, but I'd say a little longer than normal. We the new normal for us is very efficient but uh yeah we, we got it done so that's what we did get that e good and i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the soap because i want to do this side and i'm gonna hit the front actually you know what i think i'm gonna hit the front too while i'm here because it's shady bag let it marinate a little bit fresh fresh Kim hey Tony what you gonna do hit that all right you could you need help huh all right. All right, guys. I'm going to go help Tony put the swing back for him. All right. Catch up. Peace. All right, guys. We did the front of the uh, house. We didn't do the front of the roof yet. We are waiting. Trying to get everything wet down a little bit. But just turn soap on. So we're going to try this little section of the roof. With a metal roof, you always want to pre-wet it, especially on hot days. We're going to try this one to see if our mix is good. We're already pre-wet these plants, so don't get excited. Uh, so we're just waiting on soap. So we'll get some soap here in a minute, spray this wall and this roof, and see if this mix is going to work. You can tell, right? You can tell. The uh, algae build up. So we got soap. So let's we'll see if this mix works. We're going to let it sit up here for a little bit. Again, because it's in the shade, so not a big deal, folks. Let that run down behind that plant. Be good. Get behind this side of the plant. 
at that base here. No problems with this thing. Cause they are the beast, man. I get a lot of calls about the AR, which is appreciative because I like talking it out. Cause there's things I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not the pro here. I just hit it again. Let's go over here and hit this side. Property protections in place. Hit the roof. Again, this side is not too bad. Not the northern side, but we're gonna hit it. And hit this. Don't be afraid to let it sit on there. You can apply multiple coats of SH on, on the roof, so don't let that freak you out. So We'll let it sit for about five minutes. And just hit it again real quick. Oh yeah, it smells like a swimming pool. I'll hit this side again, see if it's doing anything. I may again we may have to spike it up. I think it's working. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and then I have some in my line to spray it again. Looking good. We did the front, that side, got this side, got the back. We'll hit the shed real quick. We're going to, they said, don't worry about the driveway, but we're going to go ahead and do it, because that's part of the contract. I mean, not the, the agreement, not the contract. My bad. Just let that work. Uh, yeah. Can you do that or do I need to walk with? Just let it work. And the reason I know this roof doesn't turn on us because we've did it three years in a row. Same process. Well, this process is the AR. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking good. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit and uh, we'll check the water situation. Oh, we have full, we're good. We're golden, we're golden. Spray this sign. Yeah, a lot of people ask me about my hose. You see how it does here? That's what it does all the time. I mean, maybe when it's heated up a little bit, it, and then I got the swivel, but you always gotta, like yeah, there's a little stingy. But uh, and then I hit my windows again just real quick, even though it's shady side. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off. I'm gonna start from the from this side because it's not as bad. Wait one more time, just let it marinate. Any any spots that you think you need to hit again, just hit them right now. In fact, put a little, I could just post, this post um, not post, well, I guess, yeah, it's post treat without service cleaning in this driveway since we do it every year. But we'll run it quick. We'll run it quick. Okay, we got water now. Yeah, this side looks good. This side's all clean. We're going to be showing you guys how we do deal with tiger striping. All right, Tony, get your, get your equipment, your tools. As you can see here, in fact, I'm going to take a picture of it. Uh, this is tiger striping. Let's see how this works. Uh, turn it like this. 
All right, and then what we do, we pre-wet our gutter. And we, and we got a metal roof here, so we don't spray it on the gutter. We spray it on a brush. Keep your windows wet. And then the LA awesomeness that we get. And just watch this transform. Look at it. Coming right off. And with this, you don't want to leave it on here long. You don't want to leave it on here long. Because it will peel the paint. And then when we rinse, we rinse the gutter. And then I rinse some of the roof. And all of this again. That way it's... It's good. Don't mix this with bleach. It's not a good idea. See how we rinse the roof like that in case any got on the roof? You don't want that on the roof either. Spray this down like this. Give it a good wash down. And then that's a wrap. That's our uh, method for doing tiger striping. Again, don't leave it on there too long because it will peel the paint you'll be buying gutters or paint gutters always hit your windows and everything around it too get a roof again in fact i'm gonna hit this roof because i already hit the other side hitting that all day with the ar you gotta move man this roof is new on this side, so we're just gonna rinse this full, uh, off for We don't see no green on here. We told her we're gonna knock the dust off. She was cool with that. Hitting that peak over there, no problem. Just get a nice little coat of water on it. Call it a wrap, it's all brand new. Bring this stuff again. Don't forget your after picture. We rinse our brush out and always, and then that pole we rinse it off really good. All right, guys, we're done with that. Got us look new, and that's the extra step. You know, we're not going to upcharge for that because this is an annual. It took us five five minutes to do that, so it's an annual. That's what you do. Take care of your customers. I already got a bunch of referrals. Got to go quote, man. Just backed up with jobs. I ain't got really time to quote, which is good. But I you know, got to keep that pipeline full. What are your plans? All good. All right. I'm going to rinse it. We also, she asked us to wash these. Spray them with some bleach. They look brand new. Again, a little lanyard. A little something extra for the customer. I was already out here downstreaming. I mean with the AR, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just hit it. All right, guys, we're going to catch up. We're going to go ahead and finish up. We've done the house. We just got to hit the front of the roof and we're out. Hey guys, we just got the front of the roof to catch up on and the flat work real quick. We've been here about 35 minutes. Wash the house, maybe 45 minutes. Wash the house. Uh, so we're going ahead and that's not, I don't know, that's not for me. So let's so I'm going to probably go to about right here where that flagpole. I always like to have a little marker. Again, pre wet your roof. Pre wet it. And then we'll wait on soap. And by the way, we picked up the neighbor's house. Oh, they need some roof work too. So we'll wait on soap. And we got so we'll hit the dormer real quick. Hit up here. You need to be careful too about not going over the roof. Because if you do, you gotta go rinse the back of the roof. Just a nice coat. That's all you're trying to do. We're already pre-wet them plants, and this is again a house mix. So I'll come over here. And this is bad to do on a windy day because it's tough to get. So, get it all up there. Go to the flagpole. We landed another roof job the other day. Just let it sit. Just let it sit. Just don't let it dry. 
you may so depending on how stingy it is and how hot you want to get uh, is going to dictate you know how many times you got to have to apply to it because sometimes it's, it's stingy and sometimes it ain't you just got to let it work but you don't want to let it dry hitting this uh, section of the roof we're almost done here just putting the house wash mix on it letting it marinate don't let it dry Hitting all the peaks and angles with the AR, no problem. Keep your windows wet. So anyway, let me show you guys. We did this side. I don't know if you remember this. Did this side all the way to the flag. Looks looks good, looks brand new. So we gotta do that and it's already coming off. So we're gonna let it soak. We're letting it soak about 10 minutes, keeping it wet, you know, 15 minutes max. We just put in multiple applications. So what we do, we pre-wet, just to summarize, we pre-wet our metal roof, get it cool. Spray the mix on it, let it kind of work for a few minutes, five minutes. Spray another coat of mix, let it work. Turn off our machine, spray another mix to clear out the line. And then, uh, so uh, five minute intervals and max five minutes. You just gotta watch it. If it needs longer, leave it longer. Let it work, you gotta let it work and then rinse. And if you think you rinse too much, rinse it again. So, this is what we do. I already turned off my line here just sprayed another coat so we're gonna let it work here a little bit plus that allows us for uh, for uh, build up some water in the tank yep looking good all right guys we're gonna go ahead and finish this roof and we're gonna hit the service plane and we're gonna roll all right peace finished the roof and everything you just got to do the flat work real quick but before we do that I went on the back side because I still got the AR out I'm just wetting it down in case we got any overspray and I'll show you guys a little trick that I do uh, seems to help again this ain't dirty it's just just making sure we ain't got no overlaying soap on it from the other side I'll show you a little trick in a second when I get back to the trailer Something that I find that works out for me. Especially on a rinse and when you're done like this. All right, Tony, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just hit that front one more time, rinse. Because again, when you think you rinse too much, rinse it again. Plus we'll be getting a lot of rain, so that helps. And it's hot today. It's hot every day. All right, let's go see. Let's go check out the product. I already re-rinsed this. Hit my windows again. Hit my windows again. No problem. Hit them. Hit them windows again. Anything you and I already hit this roof again. So and then we'll rinse this one more time. I'll show you. It's hot. And it's already drying up. We already rinsed it really good. But. Again, like I said, when you think you rinse too much, rinse it again. Take your five minutes with the right machine, not a 12 volt. <laughs> not knocking a 12 volt. Well, I guess I am knocking a 12 volt because we've been here. In fact, we, Tony and I were talking about that when we first did this job, we used a 12 volt and a, and a uh, pressure washer to rinse it. Man, I want to say this job took us six hours. We've been here maybe an hour. We're, done, we're just about done. Yeah, switch it up a little bit. Can't okay, never rinse too much. Put that edge too. A lot of people get scared of metal roofs. But don't be scared of it. I mean, look, if it's a silver roof, before you do anything, you need to test spot it. Inconspicuous spot, do a test spot. Hit that window. Just in case, anything I don't want. And then come back and also, uh, yeah, that's good. We're done. With that, hit my plants. 
dilution, see all the solution? Again, it's a housewash mix, ain't nothing strong, so if you just dilute it down, it's almost drinkable water. So, that's what we're doing here, just diluting. Got the cat in the window, meow. All right, ready? Now let me show you guys what I did. Oh, my bad. <laughs> So when you when you got it when you got something like this and uh, you know you're done and you just want to rinse, this is what I do. And it definitely improves flow. I open my bleach valve all the way with the soap closed, so it's sucking 100 percent water instead of like you know 20, 30 percent, whatever it is. So uh, and flow flow is really really improved, really different. So. down keep on the trigger keep on that trigger I keep on it for a little bit I'm gonna put it in bypass we'll roll this up Anthony and then we'll get that surface clean to roll and be out of here uh, here all right guys get on the reel here the reel all right guys just hitting the surface clean be done here. I ain't got much flat work. It's not that bad either. Won't even eat a post treat. Roof came out nice. So I'll say on this job total, about an hour and a half. Once we're done. We didn't even break this job. We should have broke. It's hot. Drinking me some water now, trying to stay hydrated. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish this flat workout. So we got that job next door we gotta do. And this guy here, he sold his house, but he bought a new house, well, new to him, a foreclosed house. And it's nasty, so he, he, he's getting a whole package. And he says, look, I don't care if you kill anything, because we're redoing the whole house. So I said, well, that's even easier, man. We spray it with some five percent and roll on. Anyway, we'll get some footage when we get there. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and finish up, catch up with you. We got a little gutter job after this. We're gonna go hit and another house wash that we're supposed to hit, but uh, we'll see. We just rolling, man. Just taking our time. Easy, easy days. Too hot to kill yourself. All right, catch up. Peace. Howdy. Here with that little gutter job and roof clean off. It's just debris. No, no roof wash. So we're gonna get up here, clean all this off. Uh, they got a couple of gutters. I'm gonna run that out. And you can see like a branch up here. I'll show you the back. You can probably step up right here, Tony. I'll show you the back of this property. Very walkable roof. The guy sold a house and the buyer requested the gutter cleaning. So he called it all pro, of course. And uh, a nice little sunroom with the office and the golf course. We, you guys probably remember the subdivision. We've done a lot of work. So we got a couple gutters up here and some roof debris. So it's gonna be interesting to get up there. So anyway, all right, guys, we're gonna go get rolling, get the blower rolling, get everything set up, and uh, try to keep cool. At least be in the shade. <laughs> all right, catch up. Peace. Up here in the back on the golf course side. In a few minutes, got most of it out, but you can see that one here. It ends at the roof and the thing's packed. Uh, this one actually has a hole in it. We cleaned it all out and did what we had to do, but it's still, we're trying to get that out and uh, 
figure out the easiest way to do that without removing it. And so we put that pipe down and kind of shoving it out and a little bit at a time it'll come clean. It's packed. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Alright guys. Catch up. About to wrap this job up. Alright. What's up golfers? Peace. We used the ball valve and we got all these shell of mud and everything else coming out of it. Nasty. So we got it unclogged finally. So we're golden. So we gotta rinse all this off now of course. You can't leave this like this, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Alright, wrap up, catch you on the rebound. Peace. Done, done, done. Uh, we had to stop at another row house, left the camera in the truck, take care of some stuff, but we just unhooked. But as you can tell, got some rain moving in, which we're good for. Gonna catch up with you soon. Uh, trailer did well. So far, so good. We'll keep you updated. Please like, sub, call, comment. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. Peace.